The world of organized crime is filled with many notorious figures, but few have left as lasting an impression as Joey Merlino. Born and raised in South Philadelphia, Merlino was the son of a mobster and from a young age, he was exposed to the criminal lifestyle. He quickly developed a reputation for being ruthless, cunning, and ambitious, and these traits would serve him well as he rose through the ranks of the Philadelphia crime family. Molino's criminal career began in the 1980s, as he worked his way up the ranks of the Philadelphia crime family, under the leadership of Nicodemo Scarfo. Scarfo's reign as boss was marked by a level of violence and brutality that was unprecedented in the Philadelphia crime world, and Merlino quickly learned the ins and outs of the brutal and ruthless tactics that were necessary to survive in the criminal underworld. However, Merlino's rise to power was not without its challenges. In the 1990s, the Philadelphia crime family was locked in a bitter and violent power struggle with the New York-based Lucchese crime family. The conflict, known as the Atlantic City Wars, was over control of Atlantic City's lucrative gambling industry, and it resulted in a number of high-profile murders and violent clashes between the two crime families. Despite the challenges, Merlino proved to be a formidable and resourceful opponent, and he quickly rose through the ranks of the crime family. With the help of his loyal associates, he was able to consolidate power within the organization and expand the reach and influence of the crime family. He began branching out into new areas of criminal activity, including drug trafficking and money laundering, and his reputation as a powerful and feared boss began to spread beyond the borders of Philadelphia. However, despite his success, Molino's reign as the boss would not last forever. In the 2000s, law enforcement agencies ramped up their efforts to take down organized crime, and Merlino was eventually arrested and convicted on multiple charges, including racketeering and fraud. He was sentenced to 14 years in prison. While Merlino was serving his sentence, he was transferred to different facilities around the United States, but he was able to maintain his influence over the crime family even while in prison. He continued to give orders and make decisions for the crime family through his associates and loyalists, and his reputation as a powerful and feared boss remained intact. After serving 12 years of his sentence, Merlino was released from prison in 2011 and returned to Philadelphia. However, his release was met with mixed reactions, with some seeing him as a powerful figure in the criminal underworld, while others saw him as a relic of a bygone era. Despite being under close surveillance by law enforcement, Merlino was able to stay a step ahead, and avoid any major legal trouble. However, in 2016, Merlino was arrested again on charges of racketeering, and illegal gambling. He was acquitted of most of the charges but was convicted for his role in an illegal gambling operation, and was sentenced to two years in prison. This marked the end of Molino's criminal career and his return to prison. After his most recent release, Molino has tried to keep a low profile and avoid any major legal trouble. He claims to be retired from the life and is now focusing on his business ventures while living with his family in Florida.